We're very interested to see how uh, infants and children develop and especially kind of in preschool period is very important for the development of more complex intelligent behavior. We look at behavior but we also use specialized equipment so we use motion capture. There's a kind of glove um, with a plate of markers on that and the markers reflect infrared light and then several cameras which also surround this room can track the, uh, the light that comes from the markers and the computer calculates exactly how the children are moving. Well, we already know that infants can grasp an object, throw it away again. Um, but in daily life, we often plan more complex things. Imagine yourself in the morning when you're getting a cup of coffee, which is the main goal. This main goal has kind of several sub goals, adding sugar or adding milk. And each of these sub goals has a, several action steps, such as stirring the spoon, pouring the milk, and stuff. So this kind of complex behavior we think this develops in preschool period and so we are trying to understand how this develops. In this study we ask a child to build a house uh, for Bob, our very poorly diploma who doesn't have a house. There would be kind of the main goal of building the house and each of them, the main goal would have several sub goals such as each of the walls and each sub goal would have several actions. Is this finished? Yeah. So then we measure their movements using motion capture and at the same time we're measuring their brain activation. So if you ever have done an MRI study, it is very rigid and basically you cannot move and you're being shoved into a small tube, which is very uncomfortable if you're a three-year-old and you don't really understand what's going on. So instead, we like to have kids in more natural environments in which they can freely move around and we measure their brain activation using FNIRS. FNIRS stands for Functional Near Infrared Spectroscopy. Um, and so basically it just uses kind of a near infrared light to, uh, to penetrate through our skull. Certain brain areas are more active. Um, there's more oxygen there and then the penetration is slightly different compared to when it's less active. And so we can kind of see which areas are more active when kids plan these actions. So this is the first time anybody has ever done such a study in toddlers before using kind of FNIRS, combining it with motion capture and especially doing it in freely moving toddlers so, and preschoolers. So before this was kind of locked to a big big machine you know kids would have to sit quiet, quiet still be close to the machine but now basically we can just move the kids around they can walk freely whatever they like to do i made a house <gasps> who should make the house for bob this is my house made for bob i made a pretty house for bob and a 